What is going on YouTube? Maverick here and as you can tell by the title and thumbnail today we're going to be talking about things that need to be changed based on what we've seen so far from the Modern Warfare 2 beta. Real quick let me just say that this gameplay is from No Heart No Commentary on YouTube. I'll have their channel linked down below. Since the game isn't out on PC yet the beta I can't I can't play since I'm on PC so I will be able to have my own gameplay coming up this next weekend but for right now I'm using their gameplay. Hopefully that's okay with them. I am linking them down below so if you need me to take down this video just let me know. But yeah let's just hop into I have four Four things to talk about that need to be changed after what we've seen on this beta like i said i haven't played so this is what i've seen from spectating a, a bunch of gameplay as well as just seeing what other people have to say online about the game i think these four things are all very important things and actually e things that should be somewhat easy to fix a couple of them i think they could fix or might actually fix but there's definitely some that there i just know there's no way they're going to so the first thing i want to talk about is the time to kill I mean, I've seen so much gameplay and see people talking about this. It seems like you die really, really fast in this game. Some people have even said it's faster than Vanguard. From what I've seen, I've actually seen people die in like a bullet and a half, which makes no sense. But I've literally seen it happen in some of the gameplay I've watched, which is pretty crazy. So we definitely need to see an increase in the base health. It would be much easier to increase a player's base health than to go through the damage on every single weapon and like, you know, bring those down. So definitely just increase the base health. You make it so you die in, let's say, one or two more bullets than what you do right now, because I've definitely seen people die way too quick. I think TTK is one of those things that should be relatively easy to fix. Like I said, they can just kind of like change the player's base health and that'll make it so much simpler. And it's one of those things that I think they might fix and they could definitely fix if they really wanted to, just because I don't think dying really quickly benefits anybody. No one really enjoys that aspect of the game. It makes it so there's a lot more like RNG of just like, if you see someone, then you just kill them because they have no chance to shoot back because you kill them so quickly. The second thing that I think needs to be changed or updated from the Modern Warfare 2 beta until the full release of the game is just the overall visibility of players. It seems like sometimes it's a really hard to see players and they tend to blend in a lot with the environment. I mean, easy fix that we've seen in previous games is just to add the player name tags above enemies' heads so it's easier to see them. I think this is something that everybody wants to see from what I've seen online from like, you know, Twitter and YouTube videos. So I definitely think people wanted to see name tags added back above players' heads, which I do think is a super easy fix that they could do. And will they do it? I'm not really sure. Maybe because we've seen it in previous games but I think it's something super simple they could do to make the visibility better in this game. The third thing, and arguably one of the more important ones, is Dead Silence or Ninja really needs to be a perk. I mean, just like Modern Warfare 2019, your footsteps are extremely loud. People hear you coming from across the map. There's pretty much no way to flank unless you have the Dead Silence field upgrade. And uh, as what I've, from what I've heard, it seems the camping isn't as bad in this game as it was in Modern Warfare 2019. It seems like the map sort of lead to a play style of moving around a little more than we used to see in Modern Warfare 2019, which is good. But it's still hard to push up on people if they can hear you coming before you're even within like a 50 feet radius of them. So definitely need to add that as a perk. Now, a lot of people are confused as to why Infinity Ward didn't just add this as a perk. I mean, literally people complained about that the most out of anything else in Modern Warfare 2019 was not having Dead Silence or Ninja as a perk in the game. And they obviously didn't add it. And we saw in the last two years where they added it as a thing, like in Cold War, people were really happy to have that in the game. So it's one of those things that it's like, why would they want to keep doing things that the community is going to complain about and do go against what the community wants? And at the end of the day, and I might make a full video just discussing this topic because I think it's, you know, something that a lot of people like hearing about. I think at the end of the day, it comes down to Infinity Ward is so proud of the sound design they made in 2019 and now in this game, which they updated even further. And I really think it's just like a pride thing. I think they're, they're too prideful to sort of give the players something that will go against the whole sound design and sound philosophy of what they've created in these games. They really pride themselves on like being able to hear people and directional sound and sound occlusion to know where people are coming from and like being able to hear differently depending on like how many walls through the like how many walls away they are that sort of thing. So I think they really are just like not adding Dead Silence to Ninja as a perk simply because they're so proud of the, you know, the, the sound design they've added into this game that they don't want to, you know, go against that. My personal opinion, I, I understand that they're proud of what they made, but I, it's kind of stupid. Just, you know, you should be giving the players something that they want. And I would say literally probably like 90% of the player base wants a you know, Dead Silence or Ninja perk in the game. So it's, it's really infuriating, honestly, as a COD player to ask for something so simple that we've seen in literally every Call of Duty, except for, I think, Advanced Warfare and Modern Warfare 2019 and they still can't give that to us so I mean, it is what it is i guess people will get used to it and if it's a little better in this game than mark 2019 that's good but still annoying and the last thing i'm sure you know what it is 
that uh, they need to change in this game is just adding back the classic radar slash minimap. I mean, the fact that you can shoot your gun and not show up on the minimap literally makes no sense in my opinion. Uh, obviously, the UAV spam will always be a thing and people love you running UAVs. But the fact that you literally don't show up when you sh hire an unsilenced weapon is, is so dumb. It goes against everything that like Call of Duty built upon over the last like 15 years. So it doesn't really make any sense in my mind for them to do this, especially because they had the classic minimap in the game in like an early alpha place playthrough like um early alpha version of the game that they had for creators and press way back in like june or like may i'm pretty sure i think like ghost of hope saying back in like may was in the game for a normal radar and he was super excited about that and then they looked at him like he was stupid and told him it was like a bug and it won't be in the game so it doesn't really make any sense in my eyes to go against literally one of the foundational pieces that make every good call of duty game what it is but like I said, it doesn't seem like Infinity War really cares too much about exactly what the player wants. They're going to do what they want. And still, it doesn't make any sense in my eyes why they want to do this. I think it's just solely to help out noobs and help out new players because, you know, there'll be easier kills if they're always showing up on the radar whenever they shoot their gun. So it really just comes down to like, let's help these players hide a little more. You know, let's help make it easier so they can hear people coming. So we're not going to add dead silence as a perk. They're just trying to make the game easier for casuals. And because Modern Warfare 2019 was such a good selling game, they kind of want to replicate exactly what they did in that year. But with all that being said, I mean, those are the four big things they need to change after what we've seen so far from the Modern Warfare 2 beta. Let me know down below if you agree or disagree with any of that, or if there's anything you would add to the list of things that really need to be changed, like really urgent, sort of like big picture things that would need to be changed in order to make this game, you know, as good as it can be. If you enjoy MW2 content and or and if you enjoy MW2 content or CDL content, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, I'm definitely going to be posting so much content over the coming weeks, and I appreciate all the support that I have been seeing. And with that being said, hopefully I will see you all in the next video.